Well, hello, everybody. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. And here we are. Most of us are here with our morning cup of cuppa. And we just we just kind of check in. I'm the friend that like lives over here. And, um, you know, the familiar face, the familiar voice, <laughs> the wacky sense of humor, the eccentricity. But the good part is that we all share our food issues. And, and isn't that where we want to be? Don't you want to be with somebody that you can talk to about this sort of stuff and they're not rolling their eyes or they're not, or like, you know, hey, you look great. Yeah. Wow. I lost 30 pounds. How'd you do it? Keto. Oh, so let's go over here to the sale department, you know, or the department with the sale. Really? <laughs> Most people don't have any interest at all in what you personally are doing. They just want to be there. But the work involved, that's not... That's not one of the greatest qualities of the standard American diet eater. They don't really have the gumption to go with it. They're much, you know, they probably have 15 keto products at their house, like the Slim Fast stuff or other things that you see on your Facebook feed. Take this pill and you'll lose 75% of your abdominal belly overnight. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. But we don't have to exercise necessarily either. So sometimes it's not a bad thing. Um, I know that I love my mostly carnivore lifestyle and um, I'm busy, but I'm no longer an active walker or exerciser. I've tried. And then when, even when I do the little weights, my back gives, and then I'm hobbling for a couple of days. So I've kind of settled into just being active you know, it's a flight of stairs to the basement, to the walk-in closet, to um, the freezer and the second fridge for things and the what I call the Walmart room with all the jars of stuff, the backups. And then it's another flight up to the bedroom and another closet. And so I'm up and down stairs a lot during the day as well as in and out of the car. And so <clears throat> I just like being active and having a, a back that has me upright. It just works. So, um, yeah, we really don't get too involved with others that aren't practicing what we do that give us more of a hard time than a, you know, validation or confirmation that we're doing the right thing. And sometimes that makes friendships take a ding or two. Um, and it might even be hard if you're living with people that don't do what you do, but they have a, you know, they have an opinion on it, even though they've never tried it. Hmm. Oh, we'll pause while they go take their meds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, look at, this is my turtle. Miss Joyce gave me this turtle a couple of years ago. And uh, I love my turtle and I couldn't find it. And when we did the interview with June and Tracy, they had on their um, turtle earrings. So I knew this was someplace. It's on a black camel hair coat that I wear in the winter. But I just had to put it on this hacking jacket because it seemed to just fit. So <clears throat> if you're a turtle, then you accept that you've got an older metabolism, that maybe you are older as well, and that things are going to go just the way they're going to go. And you can push and try and whine and pout and change your food plan 15 times to Sunday. But if you're a turtle, it's going to do what it's going to do. And that that's fine with me. I like that because I love my food. You know, I've... I um double or tripled my protein intake um, maybe a year ago. And, um, you know, I was going by what the chronometer said, which was what, 35 to 40 grams of protein. And it's like I began to, I don't know if I found them or if they found me um, watching YouTube videos where protein for women, especially women that are, are older and aging, is much more important. And then the whole thing about chewing, um, you know, uh, most people stop having like steaks and stuff. Maybe women never even got into steaks. They were too busy with their salads and yogurts um, and smoothies and their teeth aren't as strong as they used to be. So they can't like suddenly start eating a, a steak. Maybe they could have ground ground beef or something like that. But having having steak keeps our our teeth strong because we're chewing and, 
you know, the jaws and the teeth like that. And um, you know, protein feeds bones. So we, we can't forget that our teeth are bones as well. I have osteoarthritis. I just recently found out. It took a couple of years to get here. I thought, I mean, I did have a baker cyst and then I thought I had another baker cyst, but really it's just aging. It's in a weird part of my calf. Um, and so it, it, uh, it hurts. It's weather related too, I think. But um, I, I do know that, you know, I have good days and bad days, but I'm so glad that I'm mostly carnivore because I'm sure that there are other aches and pains next to it with it or even it even in a more way a more painful way that um eating mostly meat alleviates and i don't know if you guys have found that that as well but um yeah so you know we 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 get good with our our dialogues and we don't take it personally when nobody really gives us sweet about what it is that we're eating or how we've lost our weight they just want it magically how come that magic thing never leaves us? You know, so many people live in that little fantasy thing where it's like, I'm going to be in a bikini like I was when I was 17. I was never in a bikini. You know, I was a 14, 16 on a good day. So even I had great legs for, for some reason, um, no cellulite or anything like that. So in the mini skirt era, I did well, even though above, <laughs> I was like this husky person with great legs. Um, but when they went, they went. And so then losing, you know, the 40 or 50 pounds that I've lost from my heaviest as a grown, you know, an older one, a young woman, but grown to now, um, you know, now I've got that, that skin thing on the upper arms and the thighs. So, um, yeah, it's not pretty. And then from from the elbow down, I've got that old lady, you know, folds of skin on my forearm that aren't pretty either. So I'm pretty much usually dressed from elbow to ankle and, and it works. I look good in clothes. That, that's how it is. I don't have this fantasy that, you know, I'll be running down the beach and nothing. The only thing that jiggles is my arse just a little bit. It's not going to happen. So Fantasy thinking is something that a lot of us glom onto. And then some of us, you know, get real right out of the gate, which is probably the healthiest thing for you to do mentally and physically. Think about just being happy where you are. Suddenly you're sleeping better. Suddenly, you know, your blood pressure medicine has, has either been reduced or, or taken away. The doctor's not saying pre-diabetic anymore. Um, you know, you, you find that, um, the, the bloating is gone on your belly after having that great big A salad like I used to have. I must have been just a, a rolling ball of bloat, even after, you know, turning to low carb, high fat keto, because I was having these huge salads every day. And then my body said, you know what? We don't like you having all that lettuce. And it's like, really? So then I cut down, cut down, cut down. And I went from like 175 grams of lettuces down to like 30 of baby butter. It was the least harsh on my belly. Spinach and kale attacked me. And, um, and so anyway, you know, when they talk about the anti-nutrients in the vegetables or how they fight back, they don't want to be eaten. They aren't kidding because when my body told me it was over, it was over. Now my body handles a wee bit of Brussels sprouts on Sunday. And um, it's only because they taste so darn good. Um, and I know how much I can have without having a reaction. And also when I make my leftover stew with like an ounce of Brussels sprouts and an ounce of cauliflower crumbles, and the rest is the shredded um, short rib and also some ground beef um, from the butcher, it's delicious and it's just enough. Um, you know, sometimes I do miss the veg. At the end of my vegetable life, it was cauliflower, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts from the big green egg on Sunday. And then I eliminated um, the asparagus. Don't they look like spears? But I like them, but 
I'm sure my body didn't anymore. Just one of those things, and I wasn't counting on it. I mean, I bet a lot of us that do mostly carnivore weren't counting on on this. We might have liked our vegetables, but, you know, I guess maybe I'm grateful that the vegetables told me that they didn't like me anymore because otherwise I still might be having them and having all the gut things and the bloat things and just figuring, well, this is just how it is in a, in a body because I was accepting of bloat and that sort of stuff. It was, it was less than when I was having the standard American diet. So maybe I was just grateful for half the bloat. It's funny, the deals that we make with ourselves, like in our head, we don't even think that we're thinking about it. You know, we don't even realize it. We're just, well, I'm glad that I'm not bloated like I was when I ate a lot of carbs and grains and sugar. <laughs> maybe that was it. So that, that's how it rolls. So today you can just give me that hunk of meat Monday through Friday with a couple of eggs. No cheese Monday through Friday because I have the cheese on my pizza. My, my definitely abbreviated fathead pizza on Saturday. It's almost pizza at this point. And uh, meaning the almond flour, the quarter cup of almond flour has gone away. So, you know, it's always, it's always adjusting. It's always... Um, figuring out what works for us individually, which makes and keeps us snowflakes, right? And then once you find something that you like, like me with my coffee, um, then I become Goldilocks. And um, I like things a certain way, but not in a diva-like way. I don't think I could even go to Starbucks. That, I'm just saying that. So today, what am I having? Well, today, is today is boneless short ribs that were cooked in the crock pot and uh i'm having nine ounces of them the fat with the short ribs is incredible greg loves it that makes me happy so these are my macros for the day my car my calories are 1166 calories my protein is 96 grams. I like that. My total carbs are 1.4 and my fats are 87 grams. Now, because this is so low, um, you know, I may have a little more fat in another cup of coffee later on. Um, it's just the option I give myself when I get there. So I'm having the nine ounces of the boneless short ribs that were cooked in the crock pot. I am having 14 grams of lemon juice, fresh lemon squeezed on my electrolyte powder, which is buck bulk supplements, um, magnesium and potassium. I am having, I had 14 grams of uh, ghee, organic valley ghee in my, in my cuppa. In fact, I'm still working on that now. Um, two tablespoons of butter. I um, count to put on the, um, to put on the beef and to scramble the eggs. I am having, whoops, and I'm having three large um, organic eggs from Market Basket, their brand, um, cage free, all that kind of stuff. And so it's the 1166 calories. And to me, that is a totally satiating meal. I understand that the fat is, for me, the fat and the protein carries me from the meal that I'll have today by three o'clock, because I work tonight, um, all the way through to the meal I have tomorrow, which is going to be that round at the butcher beef um, hamburger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I am always delighted with my food. I never get tired of it. Um, I'm not having something to eat that I should have because it's good for me. I, um, you know, I, I'm eating like a six-year-old and loving every minute of it. I have had chicken livers on occasion, um, as far as the organ meats go, and um, I had them with bacon and they were sauteed in butter. I would certainly do it again. It would be like a four ounce deal, and um, and it works. I like that. Um, I don't mind them, but I'd have to have beef with it too, because I need the holding power that beef has. I've tried it with pork. Pork doesn't have the holding power, even fatty cuts. Um, it's okay, but it's not as holding for me as beef. What can I say? I'm a beef girl. So thank you so much for watching. 
I hope that uh, you're taking care of yourself and you have delightful, easygoing types of days where you're not pushed and pulled. Nobody's rolling their eyes at you. You enjoy your foods. They hold you. You're not clock watching. You're not bloated. You are just delighted that you found your keto, your carnivore, your carnivish lifestyle and um, not ready to go back to anything else. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, Carnivore, and Carnivish. Enjoy your coffee. Bye-bye for now.